Today I'm reviewing Maury's Piers in Wildwood, New Jersey. These are three piers right next to each other which are considered one boardwalk park. The three piers are Adventure Pier, Surfside Pier, and Mariner's Pier, all which together make up Maury's Piers. I will be reviewing this park based on 11 different categories, and then at the end of the video I will give this park an overall score. The maximum amount of points that this park can receive is out of 5 for each one, so let's get to it. The first category is, naturally, the roller coasters. Maurice Pierce is home to six different roller coasters. Fly the Great Nor'easter, Sea Serpent, Flitzer, Doo-Wopper, Rolly's Coaster, and Great White. Great White is without a doubt the best coaster in the park. The rest of them are just okay. Some of them are definitely better than others. But this has one of the best roller coaster collections for a boardwalk park. Maurice Pierce is earning a two and a half. For a boardwalk park, they've got some good coasters. But when you compare them to other amusement parks and the roller coasters that they have, their collection just isn't as good. Next is the Thrill Ride and Dark Ride category. I'm giving Maury's Piers a 4.5 out of 5 for this. They have some amazing thrill rides. They have basically every thrill ride that you could want. It is a fantastic collection. The only reason why they're not earning a 5 is I would like to see a really good dark ride at this park. They kind of have it going with their ghost ship ride. But I'd like to see them take it one step further in the future, and that is what would earn them a perfect 5. However, they will be earning a perfect 5 for the family ride category. When you exclude all the roller coasters and thrill rides, Maury's Piers has a total of 50 family rides. That is a whole lot. What's great about Maury's Piers is that they pack so many rides into a small amount of space. This is a great park to take the family because there is so much to do. There is literally a ride for every person in the family. Next is the appearance category. Maury's Piers definitely has the traditional feel of a boardwalk park. Because all these rides are literally located on a pier that's made of wood and goes out onto the beach, it just has a distinct feel to it that is pretty charming. And boy, you should see this thing at night. Like most boardwalk parks, this park looks great at night. So many lights and everything looks awesome. I'm giving Maury's Piers a 4 out of 5 for this. I found Maury's Piers to be pretty clean and an overall good looking park. Next is the convenience category. It is pretty easy to find your way around Maury's Piers. Each pier is separated by a fair distance, but on the pier it is so easy to find your way around. The one major downside with this park is that you're going to have to get a locker for most rides. Not every ride, but most all of the roller coasters. So if you go to this park, I recommend that you don't bring a bag. Just bring things that you can fit into your pockets, so that way you won't have to buy a locker. That is the main reason why Maury's Piers is getting a 3 for the convenience category and not a 5. Next is the operations. This is how fast they can dispatch the roller coasters and how many trains they're running. This is one thing that really bothered me about Maury's Piers. They have some pretty slow operations. When I went, they were running one train on Fly the Great Nor'easter, Great White, and Sea Serpent. When I went, Great White had a station wait, but I ended up waiting about half an hour for that ride because they were running one train and they were so slow to board new riders. Maurice Piers is getting a 2.5 out of 5 for this category. Next is the location. Like I said, Maurice Piers is located in Wildwood, New Jersey, literally right on the beach. This is a great location for tourists especially. Those wanting to go to the beach can hang out at the beach, and if you get bored of the beach, just go on over to Maury's Piers. And Wildwood is a pretty popular tourist destination. Maury's Piers is receiving a three and a half. Maury's Piers isn't a humongous city like where some of these other parks are located, but Wildwood is pretty good. The next category would be food, however, I have chosen to exclude this category because I did not specifically eat at this park, so I will not be giving Maury's Piers a score for this. However, if you're interested in getting food, you won't really find any food locations on the piers. You have to exit the pier, and each pier is connected by this long boardwalk, and you can find food all along the boardwalk. So it's not hard to find food at all. The next category is theming. This is a boardwalk park. There isn't any theming. I'm giving them a 1. And you know what? That's okay. Not every park has to have theming. Next is the shows. They basically have one live entertainment area on Adventure Pier called School of Rock. And that is an area where summer concerts take place. If you want to see a show, that's basically all you got. So I'm giving them a one and a half. And the final category is a bonus category. I include it if the park has a water park, which Maurice Piers does. 
Raging Waters Water Park is home to about 11 different water attractions. It's a smaller water park, however for those not wanting to go in the ocean, this is a great substitute. Maurice Pierce is gaining a 3 for this. So now what I do is I take all of these scores and I use them to create an overall score. Some of these categories are worth more than others, so some of the scores that I gave this park will be doubled, some of them will stay the same, and what this does is give me an accurate score for this park out of 5. And Maurice Pierce is receiving a 3.4. This is a good, solid park. Lots of fun. The roller coasters aren't the big draw, but there are lots of family rides, and there's some great, thrilling flat rides. This is one of the greatest boardwalk parks out there. It's very charming and has the traditional boardwalk feel. And not to mention, once you're done with the rides, you can hit up the beach. Who doesn't love that? So that is it for this review. Post your comments below about what you think of Maurice Piers. And you can check out more park reviews on my channel. And if you're new to Coaster Studios, make sure to subscribe.